Well, do you have some friends coming over, but you don't want to spend a lot of money at the grocery store? Chef Adrian shows us how to use the things you have in your pantry and your freezer to make a show-stopping brunch on a budget. Take a look. Hey folks, good morning, welcome. Listen, I have a bit of a situation. So I committed to cooking brunch for my friends this Sunday and I completely forgot about it. I don't have a budget, don't have a plan, don't have a menu. I am a man of my word, so I don't wanna go back on it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scour my pantry, my freezer, my fridge, and see what I can make from top to bottom. Life bites, charcuterie board, dishes, hot dishes, cold dishes, with only what's in the apartment. So gentlemen, if it's you out there in this situation, just remember one thing. You need help in the kitchen, like you need help with directions. Never, let's do this. Scouts honor. This is all in my house. I didn't spend a single dime on anything today. I've got a frozen ham left over from Easter. I have some egg rolls, hash browns, I have cream cheese, butter, honeycomb fresh, and then basics like peanuts, dried cranberries, frozen bread. I have Wisconsin cheese. You know, I love Wisconsin cheese. That I keep it on hand all the time. So listen, if you don't have all these ingredients, you can alternate some things in and out or just go spend a couple pennies on the dollar just to fill in what we don't have. But let's have some fun. Okay, let's talk cheese first. Wisconsin wins the most awards for best cheese every year. They have to have a license to make cheese, so you know that they're always gonna exceed your expectations and standards. I've got a little white cheddar here, and listen, we don't cube cheese anymore, folks. We either shave it, crumble it, or leave it in its wholesome goodness. I'm gonna grill this bread cheese. You have to heat it before you eat it. It's so gooey rich, and I'm gonna top it off with some jalapeno jam. The state of cheese, Wisconsin has over 600 varieties to choose from, all made in one state. You can taste the entire world. Find them at your local grocery store like HEB or Central Market. So I'm gonna take four of my favorite flavors here. I'm gonna put them in the food processor with rosemary, parsley, a splash of white wine, some pepper, garlic, and salt, and a little bit of cream, and I'm gonna make a spread. Listen, you can make this recipe with any cheese you have left over in the fridge, just combine them together. And I give you fromage forte, a French cheese bread delectable and elevated, delicious. All right, recipe number three. Take some corn nuts, some dried cranberries, some peanuts, and some sunflower kernels. Toss them in the skillet with a little bit of butter, whatever seasoning you want. I use Cajun. Add some sugar and a little bit of honey, and you're gonna get the best chewy, crunchy, salty, savory, sweet, and spicy party mix you're ever gonna have. It's delish and easy to make. Dessert. All right, I have some lemonade powder drink mix. I know it's crazy. Add it to your heavy cream. Make sure your bowl is very cold and the heavy cream is very cold. And whip some air into it for about two to five minutes so you get a frothy, stiff peak, which means you're going to pull that whisk out and it's going to stay in the peak. Best lemon whipped cream you're ever going to have. This was so good. All right, so put this to the side in the fridge. Now, I found some pancake batter mix. Add my water to it like the directions say. Throw in some cocoa powder. And I've run out of cooking oil at this point, so I'm panicking. But I can't spend money. That's a challenge. So I found some duck fat in the fridge. And in goes the chocolate batter from pancakes. Um, when one door closes, another one opens. That's all I'm going to say. All right, I have some cornbread mix here. I'm going to throw some maple syrup in here, some sugar, and a little bit of sea salt. And a touch of honey as well. And I'm going to bake this on 350 for about 20, 30 minutes. and make a crust. There it is. Okay, now the fruit sauce. We're making a trifle, by the way. So boil some fruit, whatever you have. I have blueberries. I'm throwing some balsamic vinegar in there, even more cranberries that I had left over. And I'm going to boil that down with maple syrup, and then I'm going to start layering. Get your crust, get your fruit sauce, do your lemon cream, and then top it off with those chocolate pancakes. Just crumble them up on top, and voila, this was so delicious. I extra loved this one. Now, the start of the show and the main course, the longest linguine I've ever seen. I know you guys have pasta in your cupboard somehow or another. So we're browning up some of that ham. We salted the water very heavily and added chicken broth to flavor that pasta from the inside out because we're not having sauce. Olive oil, salt, pepper, a little Parmesan cheese, some parsley, and a good presentation go a long way. There you have it, folks. Not only can you do brunch on a budget, you can do it without a budget altogether. All right, now I cooked all this stuff, so who's doing the dishes? That's all I want to know. Well, all right, Gorita, we did it. We didn't spend a dime. Did you call the guests? Nicely done, Chef Adrian. And, of course, we've got all of those recipes, everything he made on a budget, on our website. Just go to saliving.com.